Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Design Cut Build. I'm Mark Humphreys and today we're going to be cutting out something that we like to call around the office the America map. And basically what that is is the United States of America cut out of a 2x3 sheet of 11 gauge hot rolled mild steel. Uh, we're going to be using the plate marker which is an attachment that we have on the Torchmate 4400 uh, to etch in all the states that make up the United States of America. And then we're going to be cutting out the perimeter Alaska and Hawaii using the Flexca 80 plasma cutter. Once we have that, we're going to be grinding off all the dross, prepping it for paint, and then uh, sending it to the paint booth to use all of our spray paint to overlay an American flag over it. And then while that is all drying, we're going to be gluing up our wood base. So what we're using is a 1x4 plank of wood, and we have about 12 of them, and they're all about 28 inches long. Uh, we're going to be wood gluing them all together, and then we're going to be finishing them in a nice dark stain. We're going to be taking that metal piece, welding on some, some bolts, with a one inch spacer to kind of offset it to give it a little more detail. And then I think we should be ready to show it off. So let's get started. The first step of the design is to use the Torchmate 4400 with the plate marking accessory to etch in all of the different states of America. And what it is, is it's a pneumatically controlled carbide tip that acts as a second tool that we can use to etch in bend lines or different details in more metal art pieces, just like this one. Right now you can see the flux cut 80 alternating between all 50 stars and then it's going to be further cutting the perimeter of the United States of America as the last step. And now we're taking it over to the grinding station where we're just simply using a wire wheel on an angle grinder to grind off all of the different draws or all of the impurities in the metal to give it more of a surface finish so that we can prep it for paint. And now we're just taking 11 of the 12 planks and we're just wood gluing each side and then laying them all down so that we can stagger them appropriately. Then we're just gonna use some pipe clamps to secure them uh, so that they glue and hold nice and tight. We're gonna use that 12th piece later on to further secure the design so that it's more stable. Now we're just globbing on some special walnut dark wood stain and uh, make sure that you do all of the different tops and bottoms and not just the front and, and that way it, more, it looks more like that rustic barn wood look and it actually looks like a solid piece of dark wood rather than a stained piece of pine. And now we're just tacking on the bolts onto the back. We're using three of the bolts that secure like just the each, each of the sides and we want to make sure and do that before we go to paint because the welding heat will actually melt down the paint on the opposite side and we made sure to use scotch blue painters tape to do all of the different stripes in the design. Now we're just finishing off with the blue paint. We're taking that 12 piece of wood now and securing it with some wood screws. We're using three wood screws and we're just doing it three quarters of the way up. And we have an extra piece of acrylic which is gonna act as the white background of the stars. So we're gonna use that instead of gluing on each individual white star. And we're just taking that over to the bandsaw to cut out the, to match the perimeter of the United States of America on the western, northwestern side of it. So that way you kind of have like a seamless integration of the white acrylic on the background. And now we're just taking it over to the final design, applying some double-sided tape, and we're just applying it to the acrylic and then placing it behind the final design, as well as Alaska and Hawaii. And now we're just securing some eye hooks on the back of the design, so that way we can eventually hang it onto a wall. I think two of them on each of the sides evenly placed should be plenty strong enough. And between the two eye hooks, we're gonna use some wire, and we're just gonna double wrap the wire up on itself, and uh, it's pretty strong and sturdy. Just cut off the excess and it should be just fine. All right guys, we wrapped up this build project and it absolutely looks gorgeous. And it really stands out when you walk into a room, no matter what room you put it in. And I know there were some elements of the design that we kind of had to manipulate as we were building out this entire thing. Uh, but other, overall, it turned out awesome and we're really happy with how it turned out. So if you guys want to watch last week's video, click here. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. And as always, you can find this build project and many others on fabricationforum.com under the DIY section. We'll see you next time.